He was a decorated war hero in Iran, but then Yadi Sharifarad was arrested for being a CIA spy. He spent years in prison in Iran where he was interrogated and tortured until a daring escape that eventually reunited him with his family here in Canada. In his new book, The Flight of the Patriot, Sharif Rod recounts his extraordinary true tale, and he joins us this morning from Vancouver. Good morning. Great to have you on. Hey, good morning. Mr. Sharif Rod, take me back to, uh, you know, you were a decorated fighter pilot that fought in the Iran-Iraq war. You were shot down in Iraq, saved by Kurdish rebels, somehow managed to return to Iran where you were a celebrated hero. Why then was a celebrated hero taken to prison? Uh, well, as I mentioned in my book, I was um, assigned to prestigious uh, mission in Pakistan for three years as a military attache. Of course, uh, a military attache allowed to contact with uh, uh, all the, the, the diplomats, uh, uh, ambassadors, military attaches, and uh, including the high figures of the Pakistanis, uh, 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 I mean government and uh, army and air force also. And uh, when I got back home, uh, one of a friend of mine, the uh, Argentinian uh, charge affair, came to visit me. And in that regard, I think they used it and they arrested me and accused me by being CIA uh, agent. And uh, as a spy, they uh, uh, imprisoned me and uh, tortured me for, for months. You didn't, when they took you in, they didn't tell you why you were being, or well, for that matter, where you were even going. Um, and you recount that in your book and then being put in this cell. You know, at, at what point did you realize that whether this was a mistake or not that you know you were in for the long term that you were going to have to be in prison and you recognize where you were well it, in the beginning no uh, I, I i really didn't go to my mind that and, and i was pretty sure that it was a kind of mistake and it's impossible uh, and then pretty sure i was pretty sure they'll come and apologize and they let me go but I was mistaken, and I was uh, uh, over there uh, tortured until to my death. And even the day uh, I, I remember they took me for uh, execution, and unbelievably, I, I didn't know I didn't want to die. Something inside me just uh, screamed. I, I said I have to write to be, be to be executed, but by firing squad. And of course, they were uh, nice in that night, and they gave me one more night, uh, I mean, uh, to leave uh, and be executed by firing squad the next day. And no, honestly, I, I couldn't believe that. But, uh, uh, well, yeah, these days, even when you hear it's easy for Islamic regime to kill anybody, I mean, one Yadi means nothing for them. Mr. Shreferad, what did they do to you? in terms of torture, because it wasn't long before they started that when you were in prison. Oh, that's right. But the, 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 I mean, the simplest things was just they fastened me on, on the, the, the kind of military bed. And I think everybody are familiar with it. There are two bars, one on the head, one on the bottom, and then handcuff on the top, and uh, my chins on the other side, and fastened tightly, and they start uh, flagging on the sole of my feet. That was the, that that was the beginning, and uh, after that, of course, uh, hanging upside down, uh, uh, kicking, punching, uh, using a lot of implement, and uh, it's bothering. It's, it's disturbing, if I mention it, and uh, it 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 brings anger. I mean, if I I, I talk about that uh, more details, even in my book. I I I, di I was not interested to 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 bother my audience because uh, it's it's not a kind of things that any human being can hear and uh, d d don't affect them, and it's, it's really sad uh, in 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 a country uh, as you mentioned to fly to put your life in a danger to serve your country and at the end that was the result of my life in Iran. And uh, you can imagine one night waiting for the next day to be executed, uh, with, uh, what it means. And somehow you were able to escape, and through it all, you were able to get your family out of Iran to Canada. But it would be over three years before you were reunited with them, right? 
Yeah, that, that, that's exactly right, but it was not easy even. Even after uh, they, they, they realized they can uh, let me go, and uh, I was partly free, but we realized that now we are not at, uh, free at all because everywhere I went, there was a shadow behind me, and uh, we decided to leave everything back home uh, and, and, and come to Kandra. Uh, it was not easy, first of all. It was not easy for my wife. Uh, uh, she had everything and enjoyed her life, but uh, as a woman, as a mother, uh, she sacrificed everything back home and uh, t took the uh, kids and uh, to bring it to safety. And uh, for the second, uh, my, my oldest son was after that also it was not. I have to hire another smuggler, uh, human smuggler, to, to take him out. And of course, after that, they arrested me again and they pushed me to call uh, your family to come back, otherwise you will be in trouble. And uh, I, I explain all the details uh, in, in the book. I think uh, it's not necessary to uh, I'll go to the details, but it was not easy to do that. No. But for me, it took almost, uh, you know, the, the three years, three years without even thinking. And I didn't have slim chance, I mean, believe that I can see my family again. But one day I decided uh, uh, to leave and I left everything back home uh, as I mentioned in the book uh, uh, and uh, uh, tried to, to escape and it was not easy, it was cold, it was dangerous, it was mountainous, it was bad time of the year but I, I couldn't wait anymore. I said either I'll, uh, I'll uh, make it or I will get killed but I don't want to leave like that just like a, just like a rabbit get hide and anywhere I wanted to go I have to report uh, to be um, on the eyes of uh, uh, I mean revolutionary guard all the mm. time you know it's not life you're just mm. alive well and it's so finally yeah I made it and uh, I passed the uh, passed the border and got in Turkey mr. Sharif a harrowing journey and a fascinating count in your book where um we're grateful that you could join us this morning to share some of it with us. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To read an excerpt, by the way, from The Flight of the Patriot, you can go to our website, canadam.ctv.ca.